Hey y'all, I am here for this week's update. Um, uh, a little bad news. Unfortunately, I will not be able to cook this Saturday. I messed up some dates uh, for some important uh, business. Um, my nephew is graduating from high school and I got my dates mixed up. And uh, uh, my sister reminded me of that uh, from a text earlier, getting everybody prepared. And I was like, okay, I need to go ahead and make some changes. So uh, I will be going ahead and working with that this weekend and I will resume next Saturday at, at the same time 5 30 and this one will be a special one um uh it'll be my wife and I's 15th anniversary went uh for marriage 15 years and so I told her I would cook for her so that I, I figured I can show you what I do when I cook some good meals for her especially when it comes to uh, one of her favorites, which is one of my steaks that I usually do. So I will show you that, uh, do some sides, uh, actually introduce you to a, a new uh, gadget. If it's new to you, it might not be new to you. It might be new to some of y'all, but not all of y'all. But it's called a sous vide machine, which I describe to people as being a jacuzzi for food that I actually uh cooks it perfectly uh when you need it or in large amounts um especially when it comes to proteins like uh beef chicken and seafood and then also I use it a lot for vegetables cuz it gets the it doesn't waterlog the food um because you vac you basically vacuum seal uh what you're going to cook with any ingredients that you want to put with it and then you sit it in a a water bath that is at a a constant temperature the whole entire time. I love using it. It is time consuming, but in this situation, it will work really well because when I'm ready to use it, it'll be already cooked and it'll be cooked perfectly. And then all I got to do is sear or bake something really quick or broil and do what I need to do, and especially getting a good flavor for that. But anyways, I will introduce that to y'all for that. And um, once again, you get to see how I do my steaks. I have a fire spice that I make up and... Um, it works well with the steak. Uh, and I do, I kind of follow um, what um, is uh, Gordon Ramsay's recipe for a steak. Um, I do my own little rendition of it, of course, uh, which is basting. I love basting a steak. Uh, grilling is good, uh, things like that, but a baste, especially with butter and all the seasonings, is awesome. So you'll get a chance to see that next Saturday, which will be... Um, I say 9, 10th, 11, 12th, the 13th, I think, Saturday the 13th, if I'm correct. Um, yeah, um, if I'm correct, that's what it would be. But uh, stay tuned, and I will bring up another uh, update next week around Thursday. I'm going to try to do updates on Thursday and uh, do a little bit more info to y'all on Friday and then cook on Saturday to kind of get everybody set. Because I'm trying to learn. This will be my third video, and I want to make sure... Um, that I'm doing everything right for everybody to make sure that they understand and that they get excited about cooking as much as I do and get to look forward to something every week. So hopefully this will be a good one and people will enjoy. I think uh, everybody loves beef, loves a steak. So um, I'm hoping this will be a good turnout. But anyways, uh, as always, thank you for tuning in and I will talk to y'all later. Thanks. Bye.